Hey guys, welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I just wanted to give you guys another video today. Because I know how I'm probably going to be feeling tomorrow. So I'm recording this last night. I just wanted to talk about something regarding what's going on in the world today. That struck me from a YouTube comment. You know, at the end of the day, what we all need to realize is that we're all brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers, members of a united species. We're all part of the same species, the human race. Why then is it so hard for us to deal with each other in a humane manner? I mean, why can't we just treat each other kindly? Why can't we just treat each other with decency? Why can't we just love rather than hate? Show compassion the same way we want to be shown that in return. Stand shoulder to shoulder, arm in arm with each other when times get tough. Learn to share our bounty with those who have little. And learn to recognize the good in everyone. Instead of only looking for the bad. And trying to vilify each other. Using those perspectives. You know. Too many people these days are so cynical. And so arrogant. And so. Pissed off at the world. For things that they can't control. For things that no one can control, really. And yet we're all... <clears throat> Sorry. We're all part of this entirely new generation of people. This entirely new species. Depending on how you look at history, depending on how you look at science. If you look at science and history from the perspective of a billions of years old universe, then we're a relatively new species. And yet look what we've done compared to all the others in all of the universe. We are the only known Creatures that have gained our own level of intelligence. And yet we still act like animals, like common beasts, treating each other poorly, fighting over territory and, and valuable resources, pursuing goals and aims that that ultimately mean nothing. And yet, we call this living. We call this life. Let me tell you something. This is not life. Life is not meant to feel like suffering. Life is not meant to feel like death. Life is not meant to be thrown away in the pursuit of passions that have no intrinsic or inherent value beyond that which you yourself attach to them. Living is not treating others' lives as expendable for your own aims or your own desires. It is not focusing on your benefit to others' detriment. 
It is not for getting to enjoy life just for the sake of pursuing the highest stand, the, the highest status or the highest office or the wealthiest job or the most prestigious position. Life is not about material gain. Life is about the little things. It's about waking up early in the morning to watch the sun rise and wondering what almighty hand might have went into that wonderful painting of that display. Or caressing the cheek of your wife as she lay sleeping beside you and wondering just how it could be that love brought the two of you together. Or watching the cries of a little child and going, how could I be blessed to be able to bring such a small and yet miraculous thing into this world. And even though it may seem difficult or impossible to see that child grow up to be someone good, someone pure, someone kind, someone wise. Because you know what? If we bring our children up to be wise and to be kind, it doesn't matter if they're strong or fast or powerful or wealthy. If they are kind, that's all that matters. If they are wise, then they know the difference between kindness and cruelty, between love and the lack of it. Because love, I, love is the most important expression, the most important four-letter word in anyone's vocabulary. The most important and I think the most intrinsic concept of humanity. Because nowhere else do you see more passion, more pleasure, more happiness deeply rooted than in the emotions that spring from love. Love is the root of humanity. So let love be your guide. Let love guide your hearts. And may your hearts be your guiding key. I know, I just stole that from Kingdom Hearts. But to be honest, if your heart is full of love, then it shall never steer you wrong because the one who embodies the, uh, the entirety of love is never wrong and will never steer you astray of any path that will do others and yourself good. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. And until next time, thanks for being here on the channel. If you want to, you can subscribe by clicking the red button down below. I would ask you to click that bell down there as well. But to be honest, if you want to be able to see my, my new videos when they first come out. 
you're best served by following me on Facebook at thewanderingwind.com or not at wanderingwind71 on Twitter. Link's also in the description. If you want to support me on Patreon for just a dollar a month, or if you want to have your name on a character of mine in a game that I make, you can support me for five dollars or ten dollars if it's if you want it to be a main character. But if you want that, I got the link for my Patreon down there too. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And until next time, I'll be back when the day is new and I'll have more ideas for you. And you'll have things you'll want to talk about. I will to because it's you I like thanks for watching I hope you have a wonderful day I do apologize for not being louder in this video but I'm struggling to breathe still this will be the last video I make for a while so I'm going to try and make it a good one and I'll see you again very soon well not too soon but I'll try and make a video again at some point I love you and I'll talk to you again bye